Now that's the way classical guitars could play them and uh, guys like Tommy Emmanuel as well do all these amazing things where they combine chords and harmonics and they roll and they cascade off each other and I'll try and provide a link for you. But for us we just want to get around to the idea that the same rules apply. So if you go to the third fret and that was me taking the natural harmonic which in this case is now an artificial harmonic because we've got fret on one, four frets up. The same rules apply all over. If you want to get one from the top fret, you can get them all over the neck. They get harder the shorter the string like this, so it'll be very difficult to get one. There, I'm at the 24th fret, I don't know if I can even with distortion. But nonetheless, um, it's fun to play by with. Play by with to get some awesome sounds. Now, everyone wants to learn how to do big, evil, metal pinch harmonics. And what that's all about is knowing where to hit pinch harmonics. So. <laughs> To be blunt, if you can do the tricks where you're running or just sliding your finger over the string getting those natural harmonics, and you can do this, you're halfway there. Because what it is now is you take the pick and you squeeze it tightly, and that brings it so that your thumb, the pad, is also touching the string when you pick. And the trick is your thumb pad is touching the harmonic node. So the place you have to touch to bring out the harmonic. Again, little number pick. The fleshy part of the thumb is touching the string at the same time. I understand it's being obscured, but it's difficult to show. And when you pick, the fleshy part of the thumb is touching the harmonic mode. So again, we have our example with G string. There's one at 24th. say I have the 12th fret. The octave of that is at the 24th. And that's how an artificial harmonic is created. Uh, basically, pinch harmonics are just the same technique, it's a slightly different way of achieving it. And you can also if you know how they're created with the distances, you know, 12th fret, up an octave, 5th fret, up 2 octaves, then you can actually get exact notes. Also, it's fun to just hit certain points and just get a harmonic squeal. You don't exactly know what pitch is coming out, but it doesn't really matter. So, um, that kind of thing. Um, just fun, it sounds cool, it sounds killer. If you get it really clean, you get it really sharp, and you can throw it in the middle of any solo. Guys like Eric Johnson, Steve Vai can do these things where they'll play really difficult runs and then finish them off with the exact harmonic that they want. Not just a random pinch harmonic, but the exact one. And uh, that's control I wish I had, and you can certainly develop with some practice.